So at this station, we have a syringe with marshmallows. This is station one, and we've got it at the 30 milliliter mark. I'm gonna put my finger on the end, and I am going to push down on the plunger, and you should be able to see what happens to those marshmallows. And so when I let the air back in, they actually reinflate a little bit. So if I go back to the 30 milliliter mark, and this time I pull back on the plunger, I'm going all the way back to the 60 milliliter mark at the end of my syringe back here. And you should be able to tell that those marshmallows got a little larger. So when I let go, there's their normal size. So again, if we pull back, you should notice the change. That station one. We also have this guy. This is called a Cartesian diver. So up at the top, it's got a pipette with a little bit of water in it. This whole tube is filled with water. And when I squeeze, it dives to the bottom. And when I let go, it comes back up to the top. So it's affecting, obviously, I'm putting pressure on the bottom. And it's affecting, there's a gas bubble inside of there. And what it's doing, it's affecting the amount of water that's inside that tube. So whether I squeeze a lot or a little, I can make it go up and down. Station one. All right, so we've got this candle here. It's very fancy. And we're going to light it on fire. <laughs> Okay. And go. Oh, that's wonderful. And we're going to let it burn for a few seconds before we do the second part. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Alright, we have fire. Yay, life is good. And so, we're going to let it burn for a second. Now think about what's happening to the air around this candle as it gets hot. Alright, I think we're ready. So now we're going to take the beaker and place it on top of the candle and let go. You should notice that we've got some dyed red water up in our beaker at this time, and the candle has completely extinguished itself, and it's now out. So think about what happened to the volume of air inside the beaker when the candle went out. The temperature definitely changed, but so did the air inside. So that is station two. We've got this lovely balloon. What I'm gonna do to this balloon is I am going to dunk it in some cold water. We'll come back in just a minute. My baby um, balloon in the ice water. You'll notice how squishy it is. So I'm gonna take the circumference and get back to you. See my meter stick? I found out that the circumference of my baby balloon when it was cold was 78 centimeters. So write that down in your observation. Heat up the balloon with a hair dryer. We're gonna pretend that was two minutes. And I'm gonna take the circumference again. This time, on my handy dandy meter stick, I find out that my circumference is about 89 centimeters. So you should be able to figure out what happened when the temperature changed, what happened to the balloon. That station. There's some Coke bottles floating in some ice water, and we just want that bottle to be super duper cold. All right, so we're gonna dump out the water. We're gonna set it on the table. We're gonna put a penny on top of that bottle. We're gonna put a penny on top of that bottle. And then we're gonna put a nice little seal of water around the top. And now my lovely assistant is going to hold on to the failure. Now we're gonna grab onto the Coke bottle. And you should hear the penny. It moves, so that's why we call it the dancing coins. So that station. Now we are lighting a piece of paper like in flames and putting it into our container and topping it off with a balloon. All right, that's part of station five. The other part is we've got a hot plate that is now a cold plate because it hasn't been turned on in a while. And we're going to come back and see what happens to this balloon after it sits on the hot plate for a couple of minutes. 
So when the balloon gets hot, you can definitely tell that there was a change. Now when the balloon gets cold, let's take it over here to the cold water. It's not the balloon that's getting cold, remember. It's the air inside. So you can immediately see what happens to the balloon when I chill that air that's inside. No more stand-up balloon. It's kind of sad. So that is the end of station five. Over here is a 12 ounce soda can with about 10 milliliters of water at the bottom. And we've got it cranked on high and we're waiting for this water to boil. So be thinking about what the temperature is doing to the gas inside of the can. In a minute, my lovely assistant, Eddie, there he is, is going to take our can and he's gonna invert it into our pool of water. And we're gonna see what happens when that temperature changes. Got some, now we've got some boiling water and we're gonna see what happens when we put it into the different temperature water. Awesome.